um, yes, it all looks crappy right now, but I will be back to you when this is kind of partly done. Okay, now that I'm back, I barely did anything, because I don't have that much time. So as you can see up here, I got it over and it's kind of transparent. Hold on, let's see if I can get this full screen. Um, guess I um, can't, but here's what I've done so I can get this plan. Um, as you can see, that's where I started. First of all, you gotta start in the beginning, so we'll actually have it appear when your sword appears. When I play it, you'll see it kind of move right there. So once that's done, once you have all that cropping done, that'll take a while. I want you to go over here. No, I want you to, never mind. I want you to go where your red is on the timeline, left click it, then copy. After you copy that, go back here and make a new, another new video track. And then I want you to paste the red one above, right above the one you just made. And paste. You will have this little box. It says, one or more events have you chosen to paste containing gender and media. Just press OK. Media, I meant. And then just drag it and even it. Now you have two copies. Over here, well, actually, both copies made it darker red, but what I have to do is just keep that level and keep that transparent. And once you click this right here, the generated media and change the color to black. Now that you have that black, that'll be your um, inside color look of the Getsuka Tensho. So after that, just exit this, and you have the black and red, you have the black and red um, solid colors. Make sure the red is under the black, and then go over here where it says event FX where you get these all these different effects what you want to pick for this one for the black one would be um, Sony Gaussian blur click that and then click OK and then you get this thing and you can see right here the blur kinda affects it right there what you want it is the horizontal range. Make sure the horizontal and the vertical range is about the same. And you don't want it too high. Uh, I suggest 39, 0 0.39. Uh, yeah. Just don't bother those. Just leave those checked. Now you can exit that. After that, go to the red one. And then click the same thing, event effects. And this time, once you go to Sony Glow, and then click OK. After that, you won't see it here yet. It'll come up. You gotta change the glow percent, and then change the intensity. Oh, make sure it'll come up white. Make sure, um, make it easier. It'll come out white. Just click this little this little droplet tool and then go to like over here or one of the colors over here and just click it and it'll copy the exact same color after that go back over here you can see in the video it's kinda too dark just go back to glow percent or actually intensity and raise it a bit higher suppression just leave it because it'll make the glow go away now the dark red it seems. There you go. Now it's more visible. And as you can see right here, it looks more like a get to get ten show. And you could just mess with it until you know it looks right. And right here it kind of looks right, not much, but it's there. And that's almost basically it so you can actually exit this out or 
Never mind. Exit that out. And you can change the level back, or you can just dim it down a bit. Let me see how it's a bit brighter. And basically, I hardly did anything, but this is what it looks like when I kind of plays it. Yeah, it was a bit laggy. I'm using an HD camcorder and it kind of lags on this program, but once you get it right, it'll be good. And that's basically how to do a Getsuga Tensho on Sony Vegas Pro 9. I'm sorry that I didn't do this video on the Getsuga Tensho that well, but I'll put a little post on how good I did it. Well, first attempt. So that's basically it. And please subscribe and rate, comment, ask questions, and I will try to PM you back and whatever. So that is it.